How's it going, everyone? Just got this bad boy from Amazon, so I'm hoping it's everything that it was uh, described to be, and then some, and I hope it lasts a while. So this is my first time doing this, actually, and that's this is why I wanted to share this with you guys, because um, it should fall in the bracket of anyone could do it. <laughs> so I already loosened this one up here, the old one, uh, which is actually new, because we just got this, so it's like a week and a half old trying to upgrade because as you can see I'm sweating bullets just all I did was hitch this up so that I can have some sort of support and then of course I have the wheels chucked so the trailer doesn't roll away whatever and I have the e-brakes um, in the box you get some instruction manual um, but it's pretty straightforward jack itself um, okay so you got the in case you lose power you can pull up the jack yourself right which is great that comes along with so I will clean up my mess and I'm gonna need a razor so it does come with the star washers so that you because there is no negative there's just a positive so uh, these star washers are dig into here and become a ground and um, hey, let me get my razor fuses built in line Excuse me, sweating bullets. Probably gonna look like as if it's harder than what it really is, but we're in Florida and it's 94 degrees. So smart. Alright. So we pick up all my washes before I lose them. Three and three. But actually I thought I had to buy these and I don't. Which is great. <clears throat> so supposedly the cord is 57 or 59 inches long which should be sufficient I'm going to try to tap into so it's a cleaner install there's a ground box and electrical box right over there right? so you take off this cotter pin hold this up and the foot's gonna drop. It's pretty cool because here, the internal, inside of this pipe is galvanized and the outside is powder coated. So it should last a long time. Um, and here you got the taller four pinholes. All right. So you can adjust if you need it higher or lower, right? All right guys, so here. Here comes out the whole unit, all right? I'll probably keep or sell. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And believe it or not, this new unit with motor and everything, it's actually lighter than the unit you uh, manually crank. Right? So that's great. We're lined up. Thank God I don't have to re-tap or do any other adjustments, right? So the star washers are gonna go first in here, guys. And then I take it, no, 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 no. Rephrase that. You're gonna get the flash, flat washer. Hmm. So I think I see everybody always put it on the outside. And I'm starting to think this washer is probably for the top. This star washer is to scratch the powder coat on purpose so that it makes a positive ground. Hmm. 
I don't know if one goes on the bottom so it gets crushed. But let's go ahead and do it this way. Just want to make sure there's a uh, ground anyway. I'll be the, the lab rat to touch the, the camper before anybody else so that my children and my grandbabies don't get electrocuted. <clears throat> so then all we got to do is splice the wire. So you got to make sure that at least one of these makes uh, contact with the coach. So we're going to, I got to make sure that I pay attention. Nope, that's incorrect. There you go, guys. Excuse me trying to rush through this video and sweating bullets. But we literally went to Walmart, did groceries. And then came over here banking that this shouldn't take an eternity. So, my wife is over there smiling at me. She's like, yeah, right. But yeah, guys, this is going to make a huge difference because this new coach that I purchased um, has electronic um, stabilizer jacks, right? And um, I was laughing because we went camping once to try this unit out. And what I was laughing at was that here we are, right, with electronic. And this is a 916 socket, just in case you were curious, to tighten it back up. It's supposed to be 20 pounds feet of torque. I don't have a torque wrench. So gently tighten each one up. Okay. I found this one on Amazon for $129 or something like that. Um, I have Prime, so it's free delivery. And my um, new bolt came off. I'm using the same bolts. They came out pretty easy. Okay, so I'm giving it the same feel that it had before. So that should be great. And these are galvanized washers, or zinc coated, whatever. All right, guys. So now I'll take my cable. And what I forgot to buy was uh, some zip ties. And I could have sworn the back of my truck with all this junk. I had a, a splice tool. Huh. My wife just discovered some zippy. I have only three, but something's better than nothing. Because you need to double them up. And I did have a. wire splicer back here and I don't think that it's here anymore oh guys this I'm sorry but this is pretty awesome so I got a leveler even though this has nothing to do with <laughs> the jack I got this leveler at Camping World 13 bucks and it's capable of holding 35,000 pounds so that's pretty cool because I always use these stupid blocks to get me up Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and use this razor and um, yeah, that'll teach me to have a mess in the back of my truck, right?
I just needed, I, I purchased a... He's not in the bag in there? No, no, no. It's alright, because I already got it somewhat spliced. This is some really heavy duty gauge. We'll need some of these. Okay, you can get them anywhere, Walmart, Home Depot. I got them at Walmart for like two bucks, so. So as you can see, I mean, besides me fighting with trying to do this with my barber blade, right? The jack is already stabilized. You got some, it's supposed to be bright LEDs. You got the on and off switch, right? I guess this is up and this is down. On my old jack, it was backwards like that. So that was just weird. I always used to look at it. was already soldered but I just wanted a little bit more better contact Some thick plastic, guys. It's not like your speaker. There you go. Wow, and the copper is really thick. That's good, though. Got some contact. All right, and now let's take one of these bad boys. Put it in like so. See. Before was just that little silver tip, which would have probably been ample, but mm. so on these you're supposed to squeeze first one side. Okay. The front one and then the back. There's two levels and I'll show you. this cover <sighs> all right well you know what so I don't because I'm gonna change this one out because I'm OCD like that what I'm gonna do so that you guys can see um, I'm gonna do a straight connect for now, so you guys can check it out. But in actuality, after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go down there, all right? 
because that's connected to the fuse box and everything else. So if anything goes wrong, now I just got to figure out because I saw a tutorial and that tutorial had um, I guess you guys will be following me to the next new clip. I apologize for the delay. If you guys don't get bored with this video. Okay. Yeah, you see it has two levels. There's a short smaller than a big and it's telling you on the instruction manual to these clips to first squeeze one side and then the other I'm gonna have to make a definitely a more solid connection than that So it's gonna appear like this is the hardest part. Connecting the <laughs> the O-ring so you could connect it to the battery. Because <laughs> as you can see, I don't lock this puppy in, it's solid, not going anywhere. Tighten this up for a positive, uh, stronger contact. And you see, this is what the, the dealer uses, but he has a better crimping tool than what I have. All I have is a small pair of pliers with no leverage. So. Whatever works, right? And I'm gonna run this on the other side. And I'm also today, I was gonna try to install the sway control arm. So, we'll see, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. It goes pretty smooth. Okay. And also, so I remind you, they say not to. What I was just about to do, operate without this foot. So, I was so happy <laughs> that I was gonna operate it without the plate. Right, there's a cotter pin that comes with it. Put this board to this one fit. Have a little bit faster. And now, a moment of truth, let's see if she lifts up the trailer and my truck at the same time. Here we go, guys. Stand up. Smooth operation. Mind you, I don't know how charged my battery is. Yeah. This is great guys, so my days of sweating bullets are over. And I highly recommend this. It's smooth, it's smoother than the old one that I had. I forgot the brand and this one's a Ram. 3,500 pound capacity, all right? Electric, A-frame jack, and it fit perfect on here guys. So if you have an A-frame, it fits perfect. You can find this on Amazon, all right? It was like 129, I, I, there was a sale. And it had, you know, if you guys got Prime, I think even if you don't have Prime, it's free shipping because it's over a hundred bucks. So, um, you guys check it out. And here are the LEDs. I don't, eh, it has like three pure white LEDs, like 500 lumen. I'm guessing it has a slight yellow hue. I'll go with 60, 6,500 lumen. So, this is good. I guess, you know, either when you're trying to hitch up at night and you can't see if you didn't have sufficient light or when you already parked at your campsite at nighttime so you know the kids and or yourself don't come running by and smash right into the the tongue right the electric tongue so you don't you know yeah guys this is it for now and this is campaholics 
Peace. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe if you have any questions.